The secret to good coffee is freshly grinding it just before brewing. Want to learn more? Welcome to Coffee in My Veins, for coffee lovers, by coffee lovers. When it comes to grinding coffee beans, you have three options. A typical spice grinder, but those are no good as you can't get the same consistency with blades as you can with burrs. Burrs give you the most consistent and regular grind. Then you have cheap hand grinders and high-end hand grinders like the Hario Smart G. You can use either, but using a good grinder makes a world of difference and I'll show you why. The Smart G is an excellent grinder. It's sturdily built and transparent so you can see inside it. The top chamber is where you fill in coffee beans and the bottom chamber is where the grounds will collect. Here is where good grinders really set themselves apart. The Smart G has a nut on the bottom which you use to adjust the coarseness of the grind. The nut pushes down the burrs which you can see here. The amount of space between the burr, the outer burr and the inner burr determines how fine or coarse your coffee will be. The Smart G has these little notches on the burr and the nut, which really help you with making accurate stepping adjustments. To start, tighten the nut all the way down to eliminate any space. You can consider this the zero position where nearly no coffee grounds will come out at all. Now start turning the other way and count the number of clicks. One click in this instance would be espresso grind, two to three clicks is pour over, four clicks is drip, six clicks is French press, and seven to eight clicks is cold brew. Counting clicks is important because you can easily change from one brew size to another without worrying about messing up your calibration. To grind, just fill in some coffee beans, close the lid, attach the handle and start grinding. For about 12 to 13 grams of coffee, it takes about 120 turns to be able to ground it all. All in all, it takes about a minute or a minute and a half to get this done. Here are some grounds I did for a pour over. You can see how nice and consistent they are. Now for a cheap grinder. This particular grinder is less than $15 and the biggest difference is the adjustment nut. First off, you can see that if you loosen the nut, the burr actually moves back and forth. This means one side will produce coarser grounds and the other will produce finer grounds. Second, adjusting these grinders is a pain because there are no notches for you to reference. You'll have to do a lot more trial and error to get the consistency right. You could use a marker and you could use a marker and place a dot at your favorite grinds, but uh, with a permanent marker, eventually the marker. All in all, investing in a good hand grinder will make a huge difference in the way you brew coffee. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe and visit the blog at coffeeinmyveins.com.